Well, hello again. Mike here with you, Geography Minute. Uh, what I wanted to do was, uh, I wanted to show you what we have, it, this is just right across the street. It's the main road, is that one right there. And yes, this island really only has one main road, but this is our little path. You just come across the street from our cottage and here you go. This is what we have right out there. Now, um, I've already been out here once this morning and I wish I would have put out my, I wish I would have brought my GoPro with me because uh, I had an encounter with a uh, little baby stingray, uh, sea turtle people. There are, let's see why well, I got that on my mind. There are three that are on this part of the beach. There's one way down there. If you can see the little pinkish lining that they have. And then when I turn down here, there are three. There's the yellow one, there's another yellow one, and there's a pink one. Uh, so once again, those are where turtles have come up to nest. They've done their nesting and that's to people to leave them alone. Hey, geography in action, right? This is where you want to look at people and say, hey, turtles are more important than your day at the beach. So uh, there you go. All right, so let's go down here a little bit. What I'll have to do is I'll have to bring you guys out one morning when I come really early, if I do. Always come, I would do shelling. But haven't done too much of that lately. My very first year out here. Yeah, I know this is one of those. Oh, you're just telling a story. No, my very first year out here, I came down on a Sunday morning and suddenly I found sand dollar. By the time I had stopped a few moments later, okay, when I say a few moments, I mean probably, you know, an hour later. Here's some of the shells. If you can see some of those. Now, this is not as good as what we'll see when we go to uh, Sanibel here next week. Not a few different kind of shells in there, but once again, when we get to Sanibel, we will definitely find a lot more variety and a lot more shells. But anyway, with my sad little story as I show you the Gulf of Mexico, oh, there's a guy out there swimming, um, was that I found a total on just that morning, in about an hour, hour and a half, 17 sand dollars. Yeah, I'd never found anything. I'd never even found one. <coughs> Excuse me let alone finding that many. Now, honestly, since I have come back here, I don't think I've, I've not even come close to that. I've found maybe one out here, two, last three years, lots of what we call change. That's little pieces. Hold on. Okay, this is what we call, my wife and I, what we call change. You can see inside. That up you see inside shelf. We call that change because once again, for sand dollars and they're broken, yeah, once you break a dollar, what is it? Change. You got it. Oh, there's another one. Let's see if that's got some good structure. Yeah, it's got some good structure in it. Oh, go out here and rinse him off. Now, the other thing why I wish I brought the GoPro this morning was when I was down by that pier down there. Uh, I had a little run-in, which I've had here before. Uh, I don't remember if it was our, maybe it was our second year here. Um, I'd found like maybe one a sand dollar or something. I was really happy, but I was standing out in the water, not real far. Um, and suddenly I looked over and there was a little baby stingray. Okay. Oh, look at that view. Waves. All of this. The, the uh, tide's actually coming in now. Low tide was earlier this morning. 
and it's weird because even for me just oh about an hour or so ago the water wasn't coming up this high it was out there a little bit so just in the hour that i've been out and about the tide has come in a little bit so once again i had so baby stingray and i swear at the time it was following me um, along the beach when i'd come down the, the one i'm walking toward now when i came down here also i look a few feet out in the water just kind of sitting on the bottom there's a little baby stingray uh when i moved down a little bit little baby stingray when i went all the way down there i turned to look and little baby stingray uh and i wish i'd brought it out this morning because i looked down and under a couple of nice little shells is uh you guessed it little baby stingray i'm guessing this one now the other one was probably i don't know maybe more like a foot across so i guess it was a little bit older baby uh this one looked to be oh man not even that wide uh maybe seven eight inches it was it was not that wide of a one but it was setting right on a shell that i really wanted but of course it wasn't brave enough or dumb enough to sit there and reach down right in front of that stingray to grab it uh, so what i finally wound up doing was pick up a little piece of sand pitched over by the stingray he decided or she decided that yeah i don't like this guy they turned around and left and i got the shell so there you go happy happy ending well at least happy ending for me i'm sure that the stingray didn't like getting sprayed on but once again i just wanted to come down show you where i'd been this morning i may bring you out because i came out uh sunrise was like 6 30 or something like that today i came out about six a little handy dandy light which does have red on it because that's what you're supposed to use just in case of turtles speaking of turtles let's go up here and show you this before i end my video the turtle people were still around so i didn't want to walk over by it but this is this is where a mama turtle has come up and laid her eggs down in there and they will check here's a little sign that they put up once again as i said there's another one there's a yellow one down there there's one they put the pink on oh that one's got some kind of a sign now this is what i did i as part of my christmas expensive christmas by the way was i got a sign it's going to have my name on it near one of these uh, turtle nests somewhere down here in Anna Marie Island uh, because I sponsored one. Okay, let's go see. I should have a sign just like this. I'll show you this sign. Okay, so somewhere along here should be mine. And unfortunately, yes people do litter that's not a sea species or a creature all right so let's go look at this one yeah i will go down to those other two now and see if they have signs on them i always thought i'd freak out if i came around and saw mine okay there you go but somewhere i have a sign like that and i will have uh that sign uh sent to me once the turtles uh, have hatched they will tell me about how many uh turtle i think they'll give me the location uh of where it was and then they'll tell me how many little baby turtles came out um so i think that's kind of cool you know hey also basically just donating some money to give to the turtles to make sure they are protected anyway that will do it for me uh thanks for coming along quick little jaunt down to the beach and uh once again i hope you 
Well, I didn't really learn anything. I don't think I talked about anything that you could learn about except maybe some sea turtles. Uh, but once again, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you like my little videos that I'm trying to do more of uh, outside of just the straight minute geography minute videos, uh, just let me know. Leave a like on it if you want. Uh, greatly appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, go ahead and subscribe. Always like to see those. Don't have a lot. Uh, but once again, I don't do this for the you know likes and subscribes. I just kind of do it because it's fun. But in the meantime, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.